Hello, and welcome back to this uh, episode of the 80s version of the Twilight Zone. And this week we will be watching Our Selena is Dying and The Cold Equations. Again, apologies, this is not the broadcast order, this is the order of my DVD release. So, Our Selena is Dying uh, stars uh, as Diane, uh, Jennifer Dale, who uh, voiced Mystique in the X-Men animated series. So that's a few weeks now that we've had X-Men or X-Men adjacent uh, actors on the show, which is kind of cool. Um, Selena gets surprisingly better. I mean, of course, in the, in the story of things, of course she does. Uh, but it is not uncommon for people to have a sort of reprieve before their actual death. Uh, there are lots of stories of, of terminally ill patients who, who have a sort of a spurt at the end where they get up and they move around and they do stuff and then it just keels over. And it, it has to do with how the body is processing the, the loss of function. That eventually the body will, will sort of stop trying to fight it and just go, ah, meh, eh, let's, let's do the thing. And then you get up and you have your coffee and you talk to your friends and then you keel over. So that happens. The uh, age-old makeup, uh, this thing, uh, that's not great. That's not, it's not a great makeup. I think they could have done that better. Uh, they all, they went too ham on it and not in a good way. So, mm. um, the, the, there's also fire and indoor fire. And even though I like the way it starts, that's, that neat. I like that. Uh, the, the shot from outside is not fantastic. So it looks like this and it's just, lights playing on the inside uh, of of the window and it doesn't make that much sense either because you can see that there's soot uh, by the door and and you have all these markings of there being a great fire but all the curtains on the downstairs are fine so it couldn't have like gutted the house or anything so this is uh, very much a queen of the nile from season five so like 63 64 uh, and also very reminiscent of a Lovecraft story called The Thing on the Doorstep. But in The Thing on the Doorstep in particular, the rules are fairly clear. Uh, in this, it is not. Like, how is this supposed to work? Do you, do you have to have a relative that you do this to? Does it work differently with a stranger? Um, do you transfer medical conditions? Like, the burns move across, but obviously not the scar on Martha. Um, do you have to keep them around? Uh, or can they die once you've siphoned their life? Like, there's a lot of stuff here that isn't quite laid out and it's not consistent and that makes it a bit more eh. Not a fan of that, to be honest. Um, next, uh, we are going to uh, space. Uh, for The Cold Equations, which is a story that's been adapted several times, uh, and I, I can understand why. Um, the moment he gets the notification that there is something that weighs too much, he immediately gets his gun. Like, that's his first choice. Armed response. And it's a very late warning, too. Like, he's well en route, and then the ship goes, oh yeah, by the way, you're 46 kilos overweight. Uh, the ID disc that he talks about is a cylinder. Um, why isn't it an ID cylinder? Uh, she's born in 2040, so this takes place in around 2060, I guess, and that seems very optimistic. And this is an illustration of what is known as the trolley problem. So the trolley problem is, is you, you, you see a trolley running down the track and it's about to hit five people and kill them, and you can stop this by pushing one person in front of the trolley. So you have to actively sacrifice one person to save five others. And it's a sort of philosophical conundrum. If you haven't gone through this, you really should see The Good Place and just find out. And and that is not a display. Like, that is just a piece of black cardboard that they've imposed put numbers on. Um, and it's a, it's a sad episode. Um, it's not very Twilighty, but I do enjoy it a lot. And that's it for this week. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care now.